Hello and welcome to Thornton, home to Chase Race Number One of the Reebok Truck Series. Joining the booth is Stephen Paul III. Hello, guys. I'm back here for another exciting truck race. On the pole here today, it's an all chaser front row as it's Jake Bassinger and Kyle Collins. Zeke Marley and Kyle Sosnowski make up row two, then it's Kyle Matthews and Hiroshi Kazuyoshi row three. Brad Mojo, Alex Hawkins row four, and Jake Davis and Alex Perkle in row five. As we go through the rest of the grid, I hand it over to Steven. Uh, like, I, like I said, it's going to be a short track, super speedway, and it's going to be a uh, road course. I mean, the first part, you have the winding roads of the SS, of RCs. Then you get that short track first when you really got to hit like 100 through some of the corners. Then you're going to get the highway, then the short track, and then the turn of death. So it's going to be very interesting here. Uh, my pick to win it, um, I'm going to pick the guy, whoever, whoever's starting fifth. I don't know. <laughs> well, on the final row, we have Dylan Young and Preston Plored. And starting fifth is the Japanese import. Uh, okay, I mean, I'm picking sixth place. Drivers. Kyle Matthews. Okay, I'll pick Kyle Matthews. Well, Hulk... I will actually pick Alex Hawkins to do the thing that Tony Hurd did season one in Coke Vanilla, win the first race of the chase. Um, I'm not, I have nothing against Hiroshi. I just don't want him LePaging like he did at Boston. I hope not. Well, I think it's going to be hard to LePage, LePage someone here, but oh well. LePage, yeah, it's going to be hard to LePage. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, who, well, who knows? But um, here we go. Chase race number one from Thornton. Never thought I'd ever say that. I don't think anybody. I don't think anybody in the offline community thought anybody would say that. But the green flag is out. <laughs> Here we go. And I'm just gonna have to apologize for any lag, and either from the video or from my mic for this race. Or for any other pressure reasons. And let's well, see. it seems like anytime I have lag, my mic lags. Mm-hmm. Well, they had a wreck over here. Whoa, 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 big ass. And Joe Davis is around. Kyle Thomas is into the guardrail. Oh, God. Chris Washer was... And James Shelley has impaled it. Uh, James Shelley dead? <laughs> it's a turn of... Washer is stuck. Um, that, that guardrail went right through him. I think we might need an injury report. <laughs> Injuries at Thornton? You're kidding. Uh, well, Eric and Rage with damage. I mean, you have a guardrail go through your chest, Charles. Let's see how you feel. <laughs> see what I did there? I'm just gonna wait. Hold on. There we go. Coming through this corner. Oh, Alex Perk, Alex Hawkins, and Amy Shelley with a great move. That was a good move. I'm down here. I mean, look, this is, this is an exciting race. I mean, we're coming down to the alley. You got to hit the brakes here. When we get to the highway, all right here. This is where we saw a wreck earlier. I mean, the guardrail is a hard thing. Wait, what? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh, no. Nah. Never mind. Uh, we uh, we had a race in uh, JGIR. I'm yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Kyle Collins grabbed the top spot, though, from Jake Bassinger as they go down the highway section. As there have. Apparently, we're going to have to watch out for some deer, as that sign just pointed out. <laughs> we got some deer across the Rush Kasuyoshi, not bad. Third place. Maybe he should have picked the 35. Uh, uh, maybe I should, but you know, I mean, I think uh, Gabe Williams proved me wrong, so I might have to pick him. Who knows, I guess, right? Okay. 190 as they go down the highway here. Luckily, everyone else is in the other side of the highway. As you saw the Jeff Gordon trailer coming in with Dylan Young's car for the cup race. Yep. And there's a National Guard 88, which hasn't ran in since 2008, but this is, who's, who's counting? Oh, this is <laughs> Well, here could be a spot of the course, yes. Four wide especially, oh no. Four wide, so, oh my god. Oh my god, let's see, oh. let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh, let's this is not going to end well. Let's see, no, oh, somebody is on the outside of the track. Get back there because of frames. <laughs> Seth Cole, yeah, there. He, oh, I see. I see the 19's destroyed. You're seeing him come off wide. Oh, that's why I'm thinking somebody could go off. The 19, the 19's destroyed. There's smoke everywhere. Jessica's in the back. Mobile one. Okay, behind. you said you said shadows, right? Yeah, shadows is the problem. That's why it's like I see demon color. 
We'll be taking a break here shortly, or for a short moment. Okay. And we are back. Uh, <laughs> As we found the best driver in the field. By no choice. Uh oh, thanks, girl. <laughs> um. Kyle Collins. Oh, Dylan Young's on pit road. A bunch of people on pit road. Jesus, we must. Including also Alex Perkle. Wow, I mean, man, they really got screwed over. Two of the chasers on pit road. Kyle Collins, man, was this champion? <laughs> well, I didn't see any problems there for any of the top guys. But now we'll switch back to the TV one here as they come towards the turn of death. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is going to be bad. The only spot where my game has ever crashed on this track. Baskinger! Oh my god! Oh my god! The roof just caved! <laughs> I was waiting to say that. Baskinger fell off! And the roof has... Oh, Kenny Bale! And the roof has just collapsed on the number 59 car. <laughs> I was waiting to say that line. <laughs> <laughs> so, Baskinger falls off to turn down. A third chaser to have problems, actually a fourth if you include Joe Davis. No. We, we have confirmed Jake Basker has climbed out of the no roof truck. Uh, apparently, Robin Shannon's got problems. As Kyle Collins has broken away a little bit from Jake Davis. Yeah, let's see how he is to this section. I mean, the draft is very valuable here. But let's see what he... Yeah, but he's got a ways back to Brad Mojo and Hiroshi Kazuyoshi. Yes, he does. Well, he, they might fall off the turn of death like Jake Baskinger. Rest. Maybe. Jake Baskinger. Although Jake has actually caught him now. I I'm hearing Jake needs a 300 foot. Like, you got one, Charles? Nope. <laughs> Apparently, we do not plan ahead when we come to Thornton, guys. <laughs> uh, Around the outside, though, for Jake Davis and to the lead for Truck 97. Um, Charles, we're going to have to remind that for next week. We're, we're going to need that for the Nationwide Cup. Oh. <laughs> so basically tomorrow. Yeah, basically tomorrow we're going to need a... Uh, basically, and with sprint, I love that Sprint Cup truck, though, even though we are still in the next Dell Cup Series. <laughs> Kyle Sosnowski kind of holding up the pack, I think, back here. This is the battle for fifth. Paul Swanson. Oh, actually, okay. So let's take a look for the chasers here. Uh, Kyle Collins there in second going back for the race lead now. We saw Dylan Young on pit road. Um, how about... Battle for the lead. How about that? Yeah. I don't... Uh, well, we'll watch the battle for the on some of the chasers. Yes, we will see how... We know one chaser uh, is stuck at the bottom of a cliff. Well, one went and fell off the turn of death. Two were on pit before that. And he now needs a 300-foot ladder. Uh, Bassinger's already retired. Eric and Ridge is taking his car behind the wall. And as Hiroshi Kazuyoshi goes and falls... Or goes to the rating or tries to... Let's take a look for those chasers. Let's start... Oh my god! Chris Livier just died! Wait, what do you mean? And Mr. Horny is dead. Ladies and gentlemen, I repeat, Mr. Horny has died. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no more horniness on the track. <laughs> I just saw his truck like in the air back there. Uh, I was saying, first chase we'll find is Jessica Shelton back in 28th the last time around. Mm -hmm. Just got passed by Alex Hawkins apparently. Hawkins scored in 27th. How about the PJ Williams came into this race as our number one seed. He's currently running in 12th. Yeah, he's not bad. Right behind the best driver in the field. No, I'm kidding. Well, behind. Okay, that's Brad Mojo then. Uh-uh. <laughs> um, Joe Davis we saw on pit road. Mm -hmm. 52 of Seth Cole. Where is he running? How about 16th? Um... Go back to spectator. Let's find the 30 of William Duncan. He's in 20th the last time by. We haven't talked about Duncan that much in this race, and now with the chase turn, we can talk a lot more about some drivers now. Charles Sanford right now runs just ahead of these guys in 14th. As he's trying to draft with. In fact, we're going to have to go back up to because we're catching up to the turn of death. 
Kyle Collins to the race lead. Who falls off? Who dies? No, who, who, who needs the three and fill out her next? <laughs> that is the new running gag of the year, guys. No, it's not. <laughs> the 300 foot ladder. The 300 foot. Okay, here we go. Uh -oh. Round two of the turn of death. Jake Davis is off. Oh my god, the leader just died. No, he didn't. He was running for second there. And don't go off card. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag favoritism. Oh, wow, Charles. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and... Oh, gosh. Girl. I thought that Gabe was on the outside of someone there. Charles Sanford. Oh, Alex Hawkins! The point, no, no, a championship leader just flew. He... No, one of the chasers has gone off again. Oh, my God. Card Paul is up to seventh. How about that? But then the two... Oh, my gosh. Two chasers off. Two chasers off. Zeke Marley's got damage now. Don't went no front end. Jesus Christ, somebody hit that wall a ton. Preston Plore, there's Robin Shannon. So Kyle Collins is on the final lap. And now it's Hiroshi Kazuyoshi, Brad Mojo, PJ Williams runs fourth. <laughs> um, PJ Williams, what a comeback. Where did he come from? Jay Stella fifth, and it's Amanda Shelley. Card Pollard in his debut. <laughs> Charles on, Sick now runs eighth. And before oh God, that's not gonna that's not gonna go well in the recording. I can tell when it comes in the movie maker. What? Cassandra Renzi was ninth. Your voice, way that's. Oh, God. William Duncan just took tenth away from Tom Gerard. Seth Cole runs twelfth. Then Trevor Meacham, Kenny Bales, Max Newark. looking just for the chasers at this point. Katie Elizabeth is in seventeenth. He's in the grass almost. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, that double zero is Jessica. Jessica up to twenty second. Mm -hmm. Joe Davis now making a comeback a little bit up to 24th after the first lap problems he had. He's going to get turned by that 55 maybe twice. And then obviously the drivers on Perot, you have Alex Perko as oh, a wow. chaser. Look at that two truck, holy crap. Yeah, Dylan Young on pit road, he's another one of the chasers. That truck is boy. Now this is going to be an incredible battle. I'm, I'm, I predict the top two go off and car fall wins. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you need the top six to go off. That, that could, I can rearrange that. Charles, where's, where's the oil used for Gene to win at most? Oh, wait, what? Um, You mean the race she didn't win? Yes, the race that Charles almost got to win. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we have America versus Japan here for the top spot on the final lap. Oh, this is going to be dangerous here. Oh, Kyle Collins doing it for America. Oh, that, that 35 is right on his ass. And there's the, oh my, oh! Oh, God. what was that? Who put that hauler there? What was that? Oh, dude, oh good Lord. Lord. Oh, I thought car ball was going to die there. <laughs> good thing that wall you can run through. Oh, that's the fourth, come on. Oh, through the bus. Come on, the top three, go off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, card Pollard into fourth. Come on, card. You're a card for a reason. You're in this race for a reason. <laughs> Your card for I hope the top two take each other out. That'd be great. Oh no, Brad Mojo. Brad Mojo would love that too. <laughs> I want to do it. Uh, Brendan Bird couldn't do it. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, this is gonna be intense. I mean, they're the 35 is gonna throw it down. They're gonna win at the 35. I think is gonna win this race. I don't. I'd still think Holland can get it done here. I don't know. He's going to Oh, look at the 35. He's got really a lot of momentum. Here we come. Oh, these two cars are going to be crushed. On to the final highway section. Should we go into the nun camera for the turn of death here for the final corner? Uh, not unless card follower goes off. <laughs> well, someone tells me this is going to be a great run to the finish. Yes, it is. Oh, my God. The 35. Oh, he's going to give him a shot. He's going to give him a shot. Put him up high. He's going to win the race. I'm going to see you right now. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Here we go. He threw it in there. Two more corners for Kyle. Kyle Collins got the wall. Oh, here he comes. He's going to make a move on the outside. Where does he where, pick your poison as we see the speed oh, limit 35. coming off the final turn, right? The speed limit 35. Here we go. He's going to. Oh, here he comes. Oh, here we go. Here he goes. He's going to hit. He's going to fall off the edge. Gonna make, he's going to fall off the edge. Here we go. He's going to either fall off the edge or he's going to make it a go. Kyle Collins. Nope, neither one. And it's going to be Kyle Collins, a chaser, will win chase race number one. As he comes down, he's going to win the check of his career 300, I think. As we're going to go in the back to see if anybody did fall, fell off. 
Time block hard fall of the Mesa, and he's gonna lose to the Amanda Shelley. Oh, oh <laughs> God. Jessica doesn't fall off. Jake Baskinger and the 92 of Hawking still need a ladder. <laughs> and the 97 of well, too. Oh, my God. Everyone's flying. Oh, God. Run time seeing how Chris Lugier died. I think we're just going to have a fun time trying to sort find all the replays that we need. Oh, it's, it, this is going to be like an hour-long recording for three laps, as the speed limit is 35 miles per hour. Well, we did have to take two attempts of this. Is the speed limit apparently is 35 miles per hour? So look at that! Oh, well. Look at that last lap time, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that could have gotten you a 11th place or 12th place qualifying effort today in Kingsford. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh my God, where did that zero truck come from? Rob well, Shannon comes down. Oh, you ever think that in some ra someone's race that guy died? Um, some race died today, and some people might need a ladder. No, no, I'm meaning just that, like, the guy waving the checkered flag. Yeah, I, I think some people ran him over, yeah. Uh, the flagman went flying 28 feet down and fell off the turn death. Now he needs a ladder now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a report. We are we are trying to still look for a 30, uh, ladder as everyone's pulling off the track. Chris will be asking cut out of the destroyed, mangled, destroyed, mangled. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you come to Thorn, it's one of those races where everyone's alright, no matter what. <laughs> um, I don't think after seeing a truck with the roof caved in, literally caved into the driver, and have the uh, front end smashed to with no hood. Nathan McCain actually got back out on track. He hasn't completed one lap, hasn't completed nothing, and is going to complete the race, and he's going to beat out some chasers for this. How about a smart move by Nathan McCain to cut... He's actually He's gonna take three points away from Alex Hawkins. Yep, that's gonna suck for Hawkins. Seth Cole should have won that backup truck. That won for this race too. Oh, he actually even took spot. He took a spot away from. Who was that? He, I thought he took a spot away from another chaser. Oh, he's ninth after after getting stuck out of the track. Comes back and gets that finish. Anybody else going here? Oh no. Okay. Oh, oh, gosh, oh she's got the lead. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Post race though. <laughs> we got some post race. As the top ten here today, as we export this immediately. <laughs> immediately. As Card Pollard gets a top five in his debut, Checkers versus Careers. W wait, why can't people die if it's Checkers versus Career, Charles? <laughs> <laughs> Kyle Collins, the top ten here today. Behind him, Hiroshi Kazuyoshi, Brad Mojo, Amanda Shelley, Card Pollard. Jay Stella, Charles Sanford, PJ Williams, Cassandra Renzi, and Max Newworth. Um, the other chasers, where they finished, Cus Arcadia Elizabeth finishing 12th. Jessica Shelton finishes 17th in truck 17. William Duncan comes across the line 22nd. Joe Davis 23rd. Seth Cole 25th. Looking at the bottom of the order, you're looking at Alex Hawkins, 35th. Jake Bassinger, 36th. Alex Perkle, 37th. Wow, Dylan. And Dylan Young, 42nd. Dylan Young got screwed. So, you look at it this way also. Kyle Collins is going to leave here as the points leader. And Dylan Young loses maximum in this. Now that is bad. He's still going to be with the race because he had 10 points over. Um, He's still going to He had 10 points coming into the day on... um. Collins, but hey, definitely hey, not the start to the chase Dylan Young was looking for. Hey, at least at least it's not like the elimination chase. It's true. Then we'd have even more chases to cover. I think sure at any point. We have some replays to take care of unless Paul would like to give his final thoughts on the race first. I I'll think we've got to wait because we're going to have like 50 wrecks to cover. <laughs> okay, then. It starts early on. This was lap one, corner one with Joe Davis. Well, what happened was 94 clipped the sidewalk and killed a pedestrian. I see someone flying down the track. Oh, wait, I can't say over there. Uh, yeah, clipped that. Just got on the sidewalk, clipped the pedestrian. The 31 I actually never him. hit the sidewalk, just got onto the curb. Yeah, I got the grass into Joe Davis or Joe J. Stella. Sanford just barely gets by this. There's Eric and Rage. 
The hottest is three card getting impelled. They're looking card Paul. That was a top five finisher right there. Yep. Uh, Kyle Thomas, I think, will be the answer to that. Oh, uh, where's the three card? That's the answer. Oh, my God. Oh. There's Thomas. Oh, my God. Oh, look, look at the 39 of Bird. Oh, look at Dylan Young. Look, look at Bird. Oh, the three card didn't hit it that bad. The 10 and the 1 are just stuck in the curve. They're just stuck in the curve. That's, That's what... what happened to the both of those trucks. Dylan Young loses the championship for getting stuck on the curve. Look, I love the old person walking sign there for Dylan Young right there for because he's stuck on the curve. And Chris Washer stuck in the wall. Well, Washer actually got stuck on the curb as well. Oh, that's what happened in the first corner of this race. Yep. Uh, okay. We'll take a look for the other wrecks, but I think the next one I remember was the turn of death. <laughs> well, we just had to show this awesome save by the seven of Kyle Sosnowski. As they run over our car there. Oh, my God. Look at it. Contact, beaten, banging, gets hit by that O2 truck. They all saved the 55s out of the gas. That was unbelievable. That was a NASCAR save there. And then look, look at that. That's so cool. You see the cars there? Yeah. That was awesome. You saw like people going under the corner as they're going over the highway. That was an amazing shot. That has to be a screenshot. That That's going to be in the 100 moments race. Oh, this is what happened to Nathan McCain. Got the wall. We got the curbing thing over here. What the heck is he doing? He's got... I, I hit the curb, so I slam on the brakes. <laughs> I hit the curb, so I hit the brakes. <laughs> well, that's what that smoke was for. Perkle's already on pit road. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. We got to see what happened to Perkle, then. Nathan McCain! Nathan McCain just turned him. That's how Nathan McCain gets on that curbing, I guess. Oh, oh, God. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh. Oh, man. That And you see the smoke when you... Oh, wow. Look, look the radiator is off the car. I, I think I've never seen the radiator actually hanging out of the bottom of the car. The radiator is literally hanging out the bottom of the car, guys. And there's nice well, you can see the radiator on Eric and Rage's truck. I mean, I'm talking about the radio actually being touching the ground on the car on NR 2003. So hard that hit was. Well, now I know for sure that the next wreck is the turn of death. And that, sir, and that, is the unfortunate victim. Yes, he was. Well, and when you come to Thorin, you know that there's going to be the chance that someone falls off this turn. And unfortunately, it was a chaser that does it here on the end of lap one. We need taps. Oh, why is that little patch of grass there? What the heck? Da 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 da. Go! Oh my God! He destroyed the front end off that truck. Holy shit! <laughs> Does a few flips. Hey hey hey! Goodbye. Get out of here. <laughs> I thought that was like a sound clip or something you were playing. <laughs> no, my brother. Ladies and gentlemen, the broadcast crew has got more exciting every day. Uh, <laughs> wasn't there someone that like did an amazing job driving their truck on the turn of death? Kenny Bale. Yes. Kenny Bale. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Bale. Learning. Oh my god, he reminds me of that one race. Oh my. This was just amazing. Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? Am I gonna yes. die? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, next race, Steven's gonna have a door shut. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, time for another hilarious broadcast. <laughs> Hello to whoever Steven's sibling is that's right there. I love how it says soft shoulder there. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to get the last. Okay, so now time to go ahead and take a look at the next incident of the day. Oh, wait. How did Robin Sheenan get out that far? Well, I... I what the heck? <laughs> oh, I love the helicopter. What the heck? Oh, well, we almost missed this. 
Yeah, Preston implored Robin Shannon. 54 got hit that wall there, and then him. And then the 98 decided to... Wait, does he fall off the turn of death? Does he drop... Wait, does he actually drive off the turn of death? Oh, that'd be so fucking funny. If he did. No, he finished the race. He did. Oh, yeah, he couldn't. But even before he actually fell off and could use the drive. I want to see how he worked his way back out on track. I think the feeling haven't had to happen to the 55, too, because the 55, um... Oh, no. Oh, it's a glitch. And <laughs> oh, wow, that was actually amazing. That was actually pretty amazing. That was actually amazing. That was interesting. Now, the 55... And here was the Chris Luvia wreck that I saw coming off this corner. Five wide only. Yeah, there's only five wide here, and this was never going to work. The old three of Paul Swanson gets into Card my... Card Pollard feet. right in the middle of that five wide there. Yeah, Card Pollard. Oh, my God, the old three. Holy Paul crap. Swanson. The Canadian Paul goes for a tumble. He, he literally flew over him. I'm not, not lying. He literally flew over him. Zeke Marley just stopped on the track, not the plow. The problem is, I think Marley ended up getting damaged in that and had to be... Yeah, Marley actually did get damaged in that. Nova also was stopped on track in that. Now, we were trying to figure out what... Oh, yeah, Hawkins falls off the turn. But I think that was it for right then. Let's go ahead and show the Alex Hawkins incident. Where Alex Hawkins might need a 300 foot ladder. And on lap two, Alex Hawkins would become the second victim of the turn of death. Ah, uh, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, God. And he went off so early in that corner. As he doesn't get any damage until... Oh, my God, that impact on the ground, though. You know, the only problem for him, I think, is the fact that he of when he hit the ground. If he didn't blow the engine, he would have drove on. I know, right? Yeah. Okay, now going on to lap three, I don't remember exactly what there was. Um, there, there had to be something, because, you know, it's lap three. Well, if there wasn't, I guess we're done then, but... We'll give our final thoughts still. We'll, we'll, we'll still come back and give our here's, final thoughts. Here's what we'll do. We'll just fast forward through common places. Okay? So for okay. the last lap here, we'll just fast forward through it and not... But Nathan McCain, if, remember, he stole those points about talking. Charles has to write that on his rivalry page. <laughs> you know William Duncan and uh, well William Duncan and Kyle Sinoski has been having a rivalry in the truck series but as it, as it came out nothing late as late oh, had, I, hit, I did not mean to hit that they they had a wreck in Canadian Tire I think he had Pocono, Pocono or Michigan I don't remember I don't remember either I know they I know they tangled in two separate races and I know it was both one turn, the Duncan turned Dunk, Sinoski turned Duncan at uh, Canadian Tire when it was a lap truck, and Duncan turned Sinoski. So it's one one. So the next time they tangle, it's gonna be hilarious. No, it's Duncan turning Sinoski at Canadian Tire. As Charles and Mike is uh, wagging. Oh joy! Uh, what I said was that it was Duncan turning Sinoski. Oh. And, and, and it, it happened, it, yeah, and then it, then the, the other track was the other way around. Uh, yeah. As uh, I'm getting. Oh my floor. god! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, crap. Oh, oh. That, that that somehow worked. Let, let me remind you that somehow worked. Oh, what? never mind. I, that maybe did not work. <laughs> All right, that didn't work. <laughs> Okay, so this explains why William Duncan Seth Cole finished so far back. Uh, Tom Gerard, Mr. Unluck, well, not Mr. Unlucky anymore, but still. Oh, look at Seth Cole. Look how far back Seth Cole went. Seth Cole went to the freaking trees. Yep, 
Yeah. Look how far. Look, look, look. Uh, he's like, I've never seen so much grass in my life. <laughs> well, on, on the bright side, we didn't have any Bermuda Triangles uh, sightings today. Bermuda, Bermuda Triangles. I thought it was like a 1970s myth or something. Well, on this track, there is such a place. Oh my God! Are you serious? Yes, it's off that gas station turn. Apparently, if you go off a gas station at Thor, and there's apparently a Bermuda Triangle where you get lost. Well, yeah, they slide off, and then they—I'd have to show you the part of the track. Time to get that replay up, though. Well, we're done with replays, pretty much. All right, my final. Let's... Okay, I'll yeah, get my... final thoughts. It was a great race. I mean, it was not what I was expecting. Uh, Seth Cole and Dylan Young got screwed. Uh, good right, good race, good win to Kyle Collins. It's good for his chase hopes. Um, next week, I don't know where we're going. So Belton's we... oh, dirt oh. track racing. Well, the cup. Well, no offense, but this won't be the most important race weeks race next week. So we'll see how good the race will be next week. Um, let's see how it will be. And uh, good race. We had a fun one. We had some people. We had three people who still need a three hundred foot ladder. And good run for Horoshi Kasiyoshi. He needed that run. <laughs> yep. Okay. Definitely a much needed run for Kazuyoshi. Congrats to Kyle Collins on the win. You know he'll be the points that are leaving here. How do the points shape up behind him? You'll see right now.